Hey y'all, what's up? So listen, I told you that today is our first day of school and I would be coming live in pajamas, okay? Face freshly washed, teeth brushed, that's about it, okay? That's all you're gonna get out of me this morning, okay? So if you're coming in and say, hey, what's up? Let me know that you're here. Literally, that that's all I did, y'all. <laughs> So you're catching me in natural form. This is what had happened, but this is the first day of the school year. Um, and I'm getting ready to show you how our year typically gets started, especially with, um, especially with us being entrepreneurs and us having businesses. A lot of people have questions about what time our kids get up and what time our day starts and, um, all that good stuff. And so I wanted to give you guys just a look on the inside of what our day looks like. Just know that everybody's different and you may take some things that work for you and you may take some things that don't like take some stuff that doesn't work out for you. Um, it's about finding your own rhythm and finding what works for you. Uh, my mentor uh, is amazing the way that she does it. Uh, her kids own a bakery, not like a um, not like where you can come in and buy items, but you have to order, but they actually have a bakery location. Um, and so the way that they do school is they get up to make their bakery items, uh, the stuff that people have bought, and then they do homeschool. Um, they do homeschool uh, like throughout while they're baking their goodies, right? Um, and so some days, like like they're there late, some days they're early, like they have a full schedule of things. So remember that during this first, first day, as I come to you live several times, that things are different. The way you handle things may be different compared to the way that I handle things. So bear with me. I'm going to go live on Instagram at the same time. Um, and then I don't know if I can see, let me see if I can fix this so I can see your comments on Facebook. Hey, Sylvia, happy first day. Hey, Jania, is that how you say it? Hey, Mallory, good morning, guys. Thanks for joining. So please share, because this is one of the questions that people um, often ask, and that is how, like, how does your day go? How do you get it started? So, hey, Instagram, thank you so much. Hey, Juana, thanks for joining me. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm already live on Facebook. I kind of gave them a rundown. So let me give you a rundown of what's going to happen today. Today is the first day of homeschool uh, for the 2020-2021 year um, here in the Taylor house. Uh, and so I wanted to come live and give you guys um, some information. Good morning, Denny. Um, safe travels. You guys are on the road, right? Um, I wanted to give you guys some information on how our first day works. And let me just tell you again that Everything that works for us may not work for you. Some things may, and some things may not. You take what you need and throw the rest away. Rest away. Remember that it's your journey. And so although I can give you ideas and things to do, um, your journey will be very different possibly than ours, right? It'll be very different. So first thing is Facebook knows me. They already know, y'all. I'm in my pajamas, right? Like I told y'all yesterday, I was coming in my pajamas. All I did was brush my teeth and wash my face. I, didn't do, I took my little wrap off my hair. That's it. I didn't do anything else. Uh, don't judge me, but if you choose to judge me, so what? <laughs> um, so I do look like a typically a typical day. This is what we do typically. Um, my kids and I, we are pajamas type family. Like we don't do uh, clothes really around the house to be very honest with you. Uh, and so this is what we do in our typical homeschool day. So I wanted to be true to that. Um, so anyway, um, I'm looking at your comments on Instagram. I'm looking at your comments on Facebook. Just give me some time to get to you. Let's see. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Kathy. Good morning. Hey, Iris. Good morning, Denny. Good morning, guys. Shared. Yes, ma'am. We are on the road already. Okay. Be safe, Denny. Be safe. Denny is traveling across the United States. Literally, y'all. Yep. No way. This is, this is real life. And you're giving us just that. Exactly. Y'all. This is my real life. This is exactly what I do. Um, literally all I did was um, I set my alarm kind of late. Typically my husband and I to start our transportation business we get up around, um, well, he gets up earlier than me, but I try to be out of the bed by seven o'clock uh, so that I can work on the stuff for the trucking business. 
Um, the kids, we allow them to sleep because that is our time to um, do that business. Uh, that business is very, like we have to be on the phone a lot. We have to pick up phone, call really quickly. We have to hang up. Like with, sometimes we have three phones going on at the same time, trying to get things taken care of. And so I'm unfortunately unavailable to necessarily homeschool them during that period of time. So we let them sleep in during those moments. Okay. So typically my kids are sleeping right now. They will sleep uh, typically, I, I try not to wake them up um, because they usually wake up around 10, 1030 to get their day started. Uh, but this time right now, I'll probably start waking them up. And the only reason why is so we can get back on our normal schedule, because for the last month or so, they haven't had to get up. Like I've let them sleep in until uh, 12. They just have to get up, read and do their chores, whatever the case may be. Um, and so I typically don't wake them up, but today, because we're trying to get back in the schedule, and let me just be honest with you, you could let your kids sleep however long you want your child to sleep, okay? Like, that's your choice. Um, the thing for us is, is that my boys played competitive soccer, homeschool soccer, and they practice on Mondays and Wednesdays from one to three. And so in order for them to go to practice, they had to get their schoolwork done. So them sleeping until 12 was not working. Um, and so I ended up setting an alarm or having them set an alarm being responsible for it. So they could get up by 10, they would fix themselves a quick breakfast. Um, and then once they get themselves a quick breakfast, breakfast, they start their own. Uh, school work so that we could be done. Okay, so that's why that goes. Hey, Doc. Let's see. Okay, great. I was feeling guilty about letting her sleep in, but I get so much work done in the morning. Yes. Okay, so do what works for you. Okay, Nadia, do whatever works for you. Hey, Doc. Um, do whatever works for you. If it works for you to let your child sleep in, then let your child sleep in, okay? Um, if it doesn't, then do what you got to do, right? Like, but so for us, the way our business works, it's imperative that I'm able to work during those hours and I can't homeschool, like actually homeschool my kids and do that during that period of time. So that's imperative for us in our journey that my kids sleep in. It works out better for us. Um, if they wake up and they want to get started, they can wake up and get started themselves. They just do independent work versus doing work that requires me to teach them. Okay. Hey, Adrian, no long, a long time. No, see sleep is super important and uh, vital. You're absolutely correct. My kids wake up at 11 team PJs, right? Right. Let's see. Kathy says, I'm new to homeschool. I have a 13 year old. We pulled him out of school on 3920. Well, congrats there. One of the benefits of homeschooling is sleeping. Right. And so I will let my kids sleep. Um, and what I'll do today, it's the first day. And so typically what I do, I showed you guys, some of you guys, when I lesson plan that I have a folder. Um, and so this is their folder, right? Um, it's supposed to have worksheets on here, but I haven't put the thing on there. But this is their folder of worksheets for the week. Um, all three of them, different worksheets, right? For them to work for the week, okay? So I prepare these, make sure they're printed and ready to go so they can just grab them when they're ready to go. I also print off their schedule. Um, well, I used to. This year I probably won't because we'll be using, um, we'll be using uh, Google Classroom. So they have access to look at it themselves. So I don't want them asking me every single day, what are we doing today? You know, go look on your schedule, be responsible, take the initiative. If you want to know what we're doing for the day, then go look at it yourself. Okay, so that's how we do that. So um, I have a little tray over here, but it's covered with stuff. Don't judge me. Um, so I'll sit that in the tray so they know what to do. When they wake up in the morning, uh, they will fix themselves breakfast. They, I don't fix them breakfast. Some days I do, um, but they fix their own breakfast. I am teaching them how to do their own thing. So they know we started our, um, at the time when we first started homeschooling, I believe our baby was six, right? Like six going on seven. And uh, we started him with scrambled eggs. That's how we started him cooking and taking responsibility for that. Um, and so uh, eggs and toast. And so he would make eggs and toast, not every day, but he would make eggs and toast. Um, and so now as they're older, so now they're 10, uh, 14, one just turned 14 last month and 16, um, I have them fix their own breakfast so they can make whatever they want. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays are typically light breakfasts again, because we do uh, homeschool basketball and we've got to get our schoolwork done before we can go. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are usually the heavy breakfast for them because they like to cook. So they'll cook pancakes, eggs, sausage, or they'll do waffles, eggs, sausage, like they'll do the waffle maker, or um, they'll do cinnamon rolls, something like that. So they'll do something to that effect today. Today, they have the freedom to do whatever they want as far as they can cook. So we'll just wait and see what they do. Okay. Uh, 
That is what I want to see, how you plan the week. Oh, okay. So if you want to see how I plan my school week, I'm actually doing that in my masterminds. If you go to my website, seanthehomeschoolguru.com, there's a little link that you can click to join our masterminds. Hey, Reese, I'm all over the place. Kindergarten. Okay, yeah. Self-discipline and self-sufficiency are super important at that age. I get nervous. My 10-year-old used stove. Should I really try though? Yes, try. Okay. I know that you guys get nervous about the kids using the stove. And what I say is, I mean, you're in there with them, right? Like when my baby was first learning how to um, cook, I was in there with him. I showed him how to scramble eggs. Every time he wanted to cook his eggs, I was in there with him, okay? Um, and so, yeah, you're in there with him to help him, right? Now, here's the reality of that thing, okay? The kids are going to hurt themselves, right? Like they're gonna burn themselves because we all do, right? Even I do, we've been cooking for years and there's times where we, where we forget, there's times where we grab things we shouldn't grab, there's times where things fall and it burns us, okay? So he's gonna get hurt in some type of way. Um, and so when that happens, of course you're there to love on them, you know, teach them what they could have done differently to prevent that from happening and that, like all that good stuff. That's the reality of the thing, it's going to happen. Um, and so just be in there with them. Now that he's older, I'm not in there with him, but my 16 year old is in there with him. So they have to be in there with him when he's cooking. Uh, he's not allowed to cook by himself. Um, I told you we're pajamas family. So typically my boys are wearing basketball shorts um, around the house, no shirt, right? So when he's cooking, we had to teach them, you know, put on a shirt. You don't want to be standing in front of the oven cooking uh, with no shirt on because what if you lean up against the stove what if you lean up against this you know you're not um, cognizant of your surrounding at this point to even be able to do that so just I mean just do your precautions be a mama right but let them learn how to do the simple things okay my kids are 13 oh I lied my kids are uh 16 14 and 10 Jania this probably has nothing to do with homeschooling, but how do you do the homeschool sports? Okay, so here in Texas, we are not allowed to participate in the regular sports, right? We're not allowed to participate in the regular, uh, the public school systems, their sports. And so what they have done in Texas is because Texas is a big sports state, right? We're playing all kinds of sports, baseball, football, basketball, like everything. Uh, what the homeschoolers did is they created their own team. So here in Texas, there are tons. When I say tons, there are tons, tons of homeschool competitive sports. So there's tennis, there's track, there's basketball, there's football, there's cheer, there's volleyball, there's soccer. Um, let's see, what's another one? There's baseball. There's tons of homeschool sports here in Texas. And so we just found a team that we liked, we really love, um, and we participate in homeschool basketball. So that's what we do. And then my youngest, he actually might not be participating this year because he's playing select soccer this year. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to balance select soccer and competitive basketball at the same time. Yes, mine shower, et cetera, then eat. And their dad has a folder for the week and they know what to work on. It helps a lot. Exactly. So you guys, you have to be prepared. And what I'm saying when being prepared is, of course, you lesson plan or you have your thing. And I was showing in my masterminds. Hold on. Let me show you this real quick. There are some curriculums. Okay, this is Apologia. Um, I'm supposed to be drinking my cup of water before. That's that's one thing I try to do is drink one of these before I eat breakfast, get started. So hold on, let me get some water in, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so there's uh, stuff like this. Like this is Apologia. A journal for Apologia, okay? Some, school, some lessons have everything written out for you excuse me okay so some lessons have everything written out for you i'm gonna show it to instagram and then i will show it to facebook okay so week one day one it has instructions right here on what you should be doing for that particular day okay so let me show you facebook okay i don't know i can't see hold on and you're behind hold on y'all okay so Facebook, here it is. Okay, so it has instructions what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so week one right here, day one, these are all the lessons that's expected or should be done in that first day. Now, of course, you're a homeschooler, so you can pick the things that you want to be done right off of this list. But what you want to do is um, at least have some type of organization of how your week is going to work. Even if you plan on Sundays and Sundays only, 
you want to have some type of plan on how your week is going to work, you're going to put it out where they can see it. Either you're going to put it in a notebook. I had last year, I used LessonTrek.com and I printed off each schedule um, each year or each week. I printed off their weekly schedule, whatever it is they had done, they had on that schedule. And I put it in a notebook. I put it in a um a three, a binder, I put it in a binder and I sat it on there. So they didn't have to ask me what to do every single day. They knew to go look this year. I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing it on Google, uh, Google classroom. And so they have access to that. So it posts every single day. I schedule their work to show. And so at 8 AM, it'll post every single day what they're supposed to get completed for the day. Okay, so you want them to take initiative and be responsible for their own work. You don't want them to come in here every single day and say, mom, what do I have to do? Mom, what do I have to do? Uh, I don't want to do this. They already know that it's good and it's ready to go. Okay, so let's see. Hold on, y'all. Let me go back to these comments. Jonte says, I'm an educator who will be on my teaching for the fall semester. It makes me feel like it's now or never. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, you're saying the situation makes you feel like it's now or never. That's unfortunate. You're not the only one that feels that way. But I mean, I, to be honest, are, is your baby the same age as your class that you're teaching? Because that may help or similar. Erica says, I let my four year old in the kitchen, but only in a safe distance. I let him crack the eggs and stir mixes, but he's not allowed at the stove. Yeah, Erica, he's four. So I wouldn't let my four year old be at the stove either. Um, but helping around the house, like you said, uh, cracking eggs and doing all that stirring. Absolutely. You're absolutely correct. Even things that maybe he, um, he can do. And I'm saying he, I'm not even sure if it's he, I think it might be a she, but even things like, uh, say for instance, you're cutting up maybe bananas or something or some type of fruit for breakfast, allow them to do that. Get a butter knife, one of those little, you know, the little, not the butter knives that can actually kind of cut you a little bit, but get a butter knife and start showing them how to properly cut those things. Uh, to keep them safe, but get them in the habit of helping around the house, helping in the kitchen, fixing their own breakfast. Wow, we are Team Texas. Where can we find these teams? Jania, just Google. Google any like homeschool sport, homeschool basketball, and you'll have to do some research and you'll have to find uh, the one that fits your family because they're not all the same. They're all different. Um, just Google, flat out Google what you're looking for. Sherry Banks, yeah, just Google, guys. That's all you can do is just Google flat out. Jonte, thank you so much for the uh, tags there. So let me get back to Instagram. Yes, hydrate those organs of Kickstarter, right? Sorry, so new at this, are all curriculums like this? They basically tell you what to do and how like for the week, et cetera, or only certain ones. Only certain ones have that. So what she's talking about is if you just joined me, um, I was showing her Apologia's curriculum. This is anatomy, the anatomy one. And so this one shows um, what you should do week one. And it's a suggestion, of course, right? So week one and for day one, what you should do. And she's asking if all curriculums are like that. No, all curriculums are not like that. Um, but what I would say is um, the bigger named companies like Apologia, Abeka, all that kind of stuff, they have a list of what you should be doing uh, during that time. And no need to apologize. A lot of people are new. Get your questions. You're cool, okay? That's my life now. Mom, what do I have to do? I don't know what to do. Exactly. So to prevent them from doing that, guys, make them take control of their situation, right? So sweetheart, every week, I will put your lessons. I will print them out for the week, or even if it's a day. If you get up and you want to print it out for a day, I printed your lesson or I wrote it on the whiteboard. Here's your lesson. This is what you need to do. Um, maybe write it in if they we want a planner write it in their own planner whatever you want to do but make them um take responsibility for their education okay because this is their journey we're just walking along with them it's not us doing it uh and so and i don't want that question y'all i ain't gonna lie that question almost gets on my nerves just as much as what's for dinner like they kind of both get on my nerves um and so um, so that's, that's just that. I'm just going to leave it there. Jante says, yes, like COVID-19, the fact they do not teach Black history, but are incorporating LGBTQ, LGBTQ. I have taught elementary high school and I'm now an elementary professor or English professor. Things have gotten easier. I also own an NFP communities creating change since 2005 teaching, teaching people's history through arts. I feel now with lockdown, this is my chance. I have always 
wanted to own my own school idea of vegan homeschool. My children are five and eight years. Okay. So yeah. And here's the thing too, that something that we need to talk about um, you guys is that homeschool is not a normal homeschool day. Okay. So homeschool is not a, um, it's not a normal school day is what I'm trying to say. So you go to, you go to school, your kids go to school around eight o'clock, right? And then they um, get out around three o'clock. That's not how homeschool works. Okay. Uh, we are typically done in our house with homeschool anywhere between four to five hours, maybe six. And it gets longer when we take breaks. It gets longer when I have to fuss at my little one for not staying focused. Um, it gets longer if, say, for instance, I have a meeting slap dad in the middle of their homeschooling and they need me for their work. Um, and so that makes it difficult for us. But we do not homeschool more than six hours a day. And again, six hours is because of my high schoolers. My high schoolers have to earn credit hours. So their schoolwork is going to be longer than the younger kids. But for my youngest baby, each subject, we spend 30 minutes a day on the subject. That's it. Um, not including whatever time that they spend with me teaching them the lesson, okay? So I don't want you to think that you have to school your kids all day, every day. Um, it's not that type of situation. Four hours at the very most. And the younger they are, the smaller that is. So for, um, I think it was Ebony, was it Ebony that said that? Hold on. Let me go back to the comments. I might have just made up a name. Erica, I'm sorry, for Erica who said it, she has a four-year-old baby. Her school day is not going to be four hours. Her school day may be an hour, hour and a half because she's four. So you'll spend um, several moments throughout the day teaching little things, but the lesson should be no longer than 10 minutes. There's no reason a four-year-old should be sitting there for 30 minutes trying to do um, schoolwork. Okay, that's just not going to work. Your kid's going to get bored. You're going to get irritated. She's going to get irritated. Y'all both going to be mad at each other. Okay, so just to keep that in mind that based off of age group, that's something too. And I don't have my book because it's in my bedroom. Um, I slept with it by my nightstand. No, I'm joking. Um, and if you buy my book, How to Transition to Homeschooling, it gives you a specific schedule, how you should schedule your times. At this age group, this is what you need to be doing. At this age group, this is what you need to be doing. At this age, this is what you need to be doing. So it breaks it down for you, okay? Hey, Sister Banks. Planners are great. I love we are talking alongside with them. Exactly, guys. We are walking alongside with them. Exactly. This is their journey. We're just walking with them. Now I'm going to put, go out and get my kids planners so they can have their task scheduled for a week. Thanks for the help, Nugget. You're welcome. So planners, um, even and see, even on my planners, guys, I write everything down. So even if they have doctor's appointments, if they have basketball practice, if they have soccer practice, if we're going on a field trip, anything like that, I write every single thing down so that they know what we're dealing with for the week. They know um, what's going on. And so I, I encourage you to do the same. Okay. So there's no surprises. My kids are responsible. They know every Monday and Wednesday, we go to basketball practice and they know that every Monday and Wednesday, in order for us to be on time for practice, we have to leave. Uh, we have to start getting ready um, like an hour and a half before practice. And then we have to leave 45 minutes before practice starts. They know that. And so my kids each have a timer. They know, okay, at this time I need to start getting ready. At this time I need to get out the door or we're going to be late. Um, mom is ready at 1215 every single time to get them out the door by one o'clock because mom is not going to drive like a bat out of hell to get you there on time because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. It is now respond. You're responsible for your work. Okay. You're responsible for getting yourself on time. I'm doing my part. I'm dressed. I'm ready to drive. Okay. Um, you need to be doing your part. So that means getting your schoolwork done on time. That means getting your uh, self dressed and ready to go. And that means being ready to drive off when it's time to go. Okay, so put that stuff in their hands. It's their responsibility. You shouldn't have to babysit them. Now, caveat to that. Do I have to fuss sometimes? Yes. Do I have to remind them sometimes? Yes. But I am now, right now, training them to not have to go through that. Okay. So just to be very honest with you. Okay. Yes, I am a mama. Yes, I have kids. Yes, I have boys who get distracted and want to play and do this. And here it is five minutes. It's 1210. We're supposed to walk out the door at 12, uh, 1215 and my kids are not dressed. Absolutely. But what happens is instead of me sitting there fussing, I'm like, okay, I'm ready at 1215. 
if you're not ready at 1215, what happens is, hey, I'm not rushing to get you to practice, okay? However long it takes me to get to practice, it takes me to get, pra get to practice. And if you show up to practice late, then that's on you. And I believe the way that works at that particular location is I think they run like five laps around the gym when they're late and they don't wanna do that, right? Um, and so they try to rush and hurry. So put it into their hands, okay? Let me get back to these comments, okay? You're welcome. Okay, that's my life right now. Mom, what do I have to, exactly, it's all our lives, child. Oh my God, yes, that question sets the tone for the day, bad, exactly. Automatic frustration from that question, minus four to, we do 20 to 25 minutes, there you go. You're welcome, guys, you are so welcome, okay? You're welcome, guys. Check my book out. Are you in New Jersey? No, I am in North Texas. Oh, she's talking about Jonte. Okay, let me mind my business. My five-year-old, 45 minutes in total with breaks in between. Exactly, Sylvia. So Sylvia's got it. Okay, so five-year-old, again, they're babies, right? And you can do school, homeschool several times a day, right? So you can do it um, in the morning. You can have a session that's 45 minutes long. And then in the afternoon, you can have a session that's 45 minutes long. That's up to you. You can choose whatever you want as far as that's concerned. Good morning, D. I love the lady you shouted out as a traveler. My one to three year old is to live off the grid in a tiny, my one to three year goal is to live off the grid in a tiny house on wheels. I want to travel as I believe <clears throat> it's the best learning experience. I am in Illinois and going through the gentrification of my home. This makes me not want to buy any more houses in America, especially if you don't own the land. I realize we never truly own property in America because even after you are done, Paying for your home, you pay taxes forever, which means you are never really done. Thank you for all that you're doing. It's definitely motivation. I have a goal of turning my NFP into an online homeschool so that I can teach children online whose parents want a teacher for their own their own homeschool. That's great. Hey, Erica's mom. Hey, mom. You're in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. I have to run. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so um, I came on here to just tell you what's going on. So the kids are still asleep. Okay, this is our first day. The kids are still asleep. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Um, I'm going to finish my water and I'm going to start processing invoices for our transportation company, making sure everything is ready to go for the day. Um, our school area is a wreck right now. It is a wreck. I would show you, but I'm actually embarrassed and I don't want you to judge me on that. Like I do care about that right now. Um, and so our school area is a wreck. Uh, and so what we're going to do is because it has been a catch all for the last month or two and my kids have been a part of that catch all, I am not going to clean this up by myself. My expectation is, is that my kids help. So part of our homeschool this week will be us cleaning up our school area and organizing it and putting it the way that we need to go. So all of their actual schoolwork is ready to go for the day. Um, I need to change the chores. So they each get daily chores that they're supposed to do um, for the day. And so I need to change the chores and um, I need to, we need to organize a school area. So what we'll do today is probably spend about an hour just organizing one particular area of the room. They'll grab their spiral notebooks, design them. I let them draw on them with permanent marker, construction paper, do whatever they wanna do on their spirals for the year. And then they put their stuff into bins. Um, one uses a, no, two use a, I thought I had it sitting here, but I don't. Ain't no telling where it is. To have a computer table, they have like the little lap desk um, that they put all of their books on top of, their reading book, their spirals, their pencils, all that they put in one spot. One child has an actual book bin. It's just a bin that you put books in and he puts all his spirals, his pencil, his all that stuff there. Um, and so today what we will do is we will spend, um, they will do their schoolwork, but we will spend um, some time organizing the school area, just a part of it. We won't do the whole area because it's, it's bad guys, it's really bad. Um, so we'll do that. And then in the midst right now, I'm going to work on my, um, my business. So I'm going to work on the transportation business while they're sleeping. I will wake them up around 10 o'clock. Um, I may, let's see, I probably will, I probably won't go live again, or maybe I'll go live when the kids get up again. Uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily, there's a point to that. And the only reason why I said that is because the kids don't want to be on live. So it'll just be me talking. Um, but I'll wake them up. Uh, around 10 and typically again I do not wake them up they're used to waking themselves up around 10 to 10 30 but we have been off for a while and so they have been sleeping until 12 so they think they're going to sleep to 12 today but that ain't happening we getting back on schedule 
So thank y'all so for joining us. Um, I guess I will try to come back live at 10. I don't really get the purpose of it. I don't. Y'all let me know. Do y'all want me to come back at 10 when I wake the kids up and let you know what happens or are we good? Y'all let me know in the comments, okay? Y'all's hot in this house. Like the AC went off. <clears throat> Y'all let me know. So should I come back when the kids are um, awake or should I just come back later on in general? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. I'll take that, Erica. I like your honesty. No problem. You know, I'm always loving your lives. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to come back when I wake up the kids because we're not really going to do anything. We're going to get up. Um, they're going to fix their breakfast. Jania says yes. Um, they're going to fix their breakfast and uh, we'll get started on the day and just go from there. Where to find high school books again? Like what books are you talking about, Sherry? Um, are you talking about just like regular books? Name of good ones. Like, are you talking about reading books? I can in general. Okay. <laughs> like what books? I mean, you have to, honestly, are you talking about curriculum? Are you talking about reading books? What are you, what are you talking about? Y'all, it's hot in here. I don't understand what the malfunction is. Like, did the AC go off? The subjects. Okay. So you need curriculum. You need actual curriculum. Um, it depends on what you're looking for and what best fits your child. Um, I know that that's not an answer that you want to hear or an answer that you think is best. Um, but I, as a coach, I have to be honest with you. I cannot just recommend a curriculum uh, for your child. Like I cannot just say, go pick up this curriculum because the fact of the matter is that um, all curriculums don't fit kids. Like they don't, it's, that's not how it works. So what I can do is tell you to pick up my book, which is how to transition to homeschooling. It will walk you through how to determine what curriculum is best for your child. And then you can make a decision based off of there. Uh, but I can't just say flat out, go pick up Apologia because Apologia may not work for you and your family. Um, and it would be a waste of your money if that's the case. So I can't really say that, I apologize. You're welcome, you're welcome. What grades are my kids? I don't know, Erica. Um, so I don't really keep track of their grades. Uh, if they were in the regular school, school system, they would be in, my oldest would be a junior, my middle would be a freshman, and my youngest would be like a fifth grader or something like that. Um, and so I don't uh, necessarily keep track of it. My youngest is doing middle school math. So he's already in like seventh or eighth grade math um, um, and science, but my eighth grader is a little bit behind, I mean, my ninth grader is a little bit behind. My daughter is doing some dual enrollment stuff. So I don't really keep track of the actual grades as far as that's concerned, to be honest. You make it seem so simple. My five-year-old has just gotten up and I realize all I need to do is treat everything they are doing as a learning experience. I had not thought about making this the first day, but I'm almost sure I will not allow my children to sit in a classroom with a mask on six hours or more per day. We are now in the kitchen and have decided to teach her how to cut a mango. I will get to, okay. All right, yeah, so you guys, honestly, before, I, I don't want to go deep down that, right? This was supposed to be short and it's already kind of extended, which I have no issue with. Um, but honestly, the way that it works is, is homeschooling is a lifestyle. It's not just about the books. Um, and so it doesn't just stop because of workbooks. So if, for instance, Jante is teaching her baby how to cut a mango, okay? Um, you can talk about the mango. You can talk about how to, you know, where does it grow on a tree? You can talk about the seed. You can talk about why it's big. You know, what make a conclusion. Why do you think the seed is so big? How do you tell if they're ripe, if they're not ripe? Like you can, you can turn anything into a lesson, right? You can turn anything into that. Um, drawing conclusions, you know, uh, you can do, um, you can do um, like research, not research, but I'm saying like a, um, a hypothesis. If we cut this seed, what do you think is going to be inside of the seed? If you if you do this, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, so you can turn anything into a lesson. It doesn't have to be a workbook. It doesn't have to be a book, guys. Like that's it doesn't have to be that way. Um, just have to think outside the box. <clears throat> 
box. Okay, he is interested in medical. Thank you. You're welcome. So he's interested in some type of medicine. Um, and so uh, Sherry, like I said, I can't, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie in front with you guys. I'm not going to flat out um, saying that you need this curriculum, okay, because that's not that's not how it works. And anybody who tells you that that's how it works is incorrect. Not all curriculum works, right? And not, not all curriculum fits um, everybody. It doesn't fit your lifestyle. It doesn't fit what you're trying to do. And so that's, that's the honest to God truth. That's just me being very honest with you. Thank you, Sylvia, I appreciate it. Thank you, although I'm an educator, it seems like I lose sight with on, on my own children never again. Yeah, we all do, we all do. And sometimes we do, I still do it, right? I lose sight and then I have to come back to my senses like, oh, why are you doing this? I ask myself a lot of that uh, now these days. Why are you teaching this? Why are you doing this? What is the purpose? You're teaching it because it was taught to you, but is it something that you use as an adult? Is it something that's needed? No, I don't think so. So why am I doing it? You're welcome, guys. I will post the link uh, to the book in there. The website, it's the title of the book, How to Transition to Homeschooling.com. Um, I will post that in the comments when I get off of here. But thank y'all so much for joining me. I probably will come back in about an hour and let my, just tell you what we're doing in the morning um, just to get our day started. We may goof off a little bit just to kind of get the day going. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you so much, Sylvia. I appreciate it. <laughs> How do I start the process with applying and getting paperwork? Applying for what, Miss Juicy? Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, Facebook, I'm going to jump off of here from you guys first because I have been on here with you guys the longest. I appreciate you. I will be back in about an hour just to kind of give you an update. It won't be as long. It'll be short. This is what we're doing. Um, and then I will catch you guys later on today. Um, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Y'all have an absolutely wonderful day. If this is your first day of the 2020 school year, have an absolutely wonderful day. Um, if not, if you're still enjoying your break, then take a break. Enjoy it. Chill. Relax. Right. Um, I appreciate you. You guys have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful stinking day, Facebook. And I will catch you guys later. Instagram, I'm going to give you a little bit more time because I started with you later. Um, but Facebook, Bye, guys. Hey, y'all. What's up? Okay, so listen, I'm coming to you real quick because I literally have um, like six minutes um, of time. Uh, and I still need to, um, what do I need to do, child? I need to go live on Instagram as well. I need to go live on Instagram as well. So, um, so here's the deal. Okay, so one of the questions that people get asked the most is how do you incorporate PE into your homeschool? Um, so I've explained to you guys before that my boys play sports. So this is weird, like it's shining in my face. Something's weird. Uh, my boys play uh, sports. So my youngest boy plays competitive soccer. He's on a select soccer team. And then my oldest son, well, they also play basketball. They play homeschool basketball. My daughter, however, is not like a sportsy type person. Um, but the way that we choose to do PE is sports, right? Um, so you could do sports as far as like with your local city, the rec team or whatever the case may be, or if they wanted to play competitive, you could do that as well. Now, another way that we do PE in our house is we are signed up with Camp Gladiator. Uh, we're signed up with Camp Gladiator virtually. It just works better for me um, with me having to work with the businesses at home and it, with me having to do um, just it, there's just a bunch going on. Right. Like there's a bunch going on. We have to homeschool. We have the three uh, different businesses that we're running. Y'all, It is hot already. Lord have mercy. Um, and so um, we do CG. So what we're getting ready to do right now is I woke the kids up. Like I told you, I woke them up around 10 o'clock this morning. They got up, y'all, and they fixed this big old breakfast. Their stomach is going to be tore up during this workout. But I tried to, I tried to warn them, but they wouldn't listen. They're going to have to learn the hard way because they fixed, like, cinnamon rolls, eggs, and bacon and all that stuff. So what we're getting ready to do is me and the three kids, we're going to head to the park. Typically, we work out in the house, but my husband's got some stuff going on in the house, so we can't do that today. So the kids and I are going to go find a shaded area in the park that's around the corner from our house. And we're going to do a CG workout for an hour. So that's how we incorporate PE. Um, I require them to do it three times a week. 
Um, and it's a push. It really is a push. But I require them to do it three times a week. And that's how we do PE. So I'm going to jump off of here because our workout starts in four minutes. And I still have to go to Instagram. And I still have to drive around the corner to the park. Um, so... <laughs> I will see you guys later on after we get done. We haven't done any schoolwork as of yet. It is now 1130. We haven't done anything, but we will get it done. I'll, I'll let you know how all that works out. Okay. See y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all. Okay. So we are done with our workout for the day. So, um, the boys are going to climb a tree because they're random like that. They are climbing a tree that's right in front of us. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go home and um, my, I would prefer that they go ahead and shower immediately, um, but I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but what'll happen is I know my daughter for sure. Hey, Miracle, um, my daughter for sure will um, get in the shower and while she's getting in the shower, the boys will probably grab like a snack or something after um because you know you're always supposed to eat like right after workout so probably grab some type of protein or something and uh read for 30 minutes and that's they'll get their reading done while she's in the shower and then she'll come out and start her schoolwork. um and then we'll just continue on with our day so we'll actually start our schoolwork. um we'll actually start our actual schoolwork now um so we're all tired um actually i guess my kids are not tired i'm sitting here on the ground um one is dancing one is on their phone and one is climbing a tree so they're not exhausted at all <laughs> so that's how our day will go so we'll get in the shower and then we'll just go ahead and start our work so i'll come back to you once we get home after we grab our snacks and get in the shower we'll probably get in the shower and put our pajamas right back on because that's what we do right like why put on clothes if we're not going anywhere um and then that's our day for the day okay so so far it's been pretty good we have not started in one lick of schoolwork. um but even with us starting now like right now it's 12 30 even with us getting started and also i also failed to mention earlier that when we start our school day like when we start our school year we don't start like right off the gate with every single thing so we don't have a full schedule this week um one of the reasons why we don't have a full schedule is because i outsource some things and the teacher that i outsource with doesn't start until september mid-september so we'll be doing some things to supplement that but the actual course doesn't start until september and so we won't have that course actually in our stuff for the next couple of weeks so even though we have started homeschooling like actually started the book work we aren't full-fledged as of right now we're just doing part of it so even though we'll probably won't even start school work honestly till about 1 30 today we'll still be done by four or five o'clock today like we won't be doing school work until seven or eight o'clock at night guys your school day should not last that long so um we're gonna clean up our mess here we've got our weights and our all of that great stuff um and then we're gonna head to the house so i'll come back to you when we start our school work so you know when we start and then um i'll come back to you maybe during school work baby please be careful um can y'all start putting the stuff in the trunk please um um grab yeah um so we'll what do you do okay whatever um so i'll come back to you again when we're done with our school day and we'll recap for the day um lucky for me today my husband is in town today so we will not i will not have to cook dinner today so he's going to take care of dinner for me um so that's a blessing so that'll take something off my shoulders did you really just do that do it. why did you do that do it. don't why you? he playing he's trying to get me to act on, on camera that's what he's trying to do all right that's the wrong way that's the wrong way did you not notice that okay it's the yes hey i suggest you open that up and lay it out first so all you have to do is slide that in there otherwise it'll come unraveled after you do it okay y'all but i will see y'all later uh later on today so we're gonna go home get showers get a snack they might my boys honestly yeah we'll grab a snack get showers and then we'll start our school day so i'll come back when we start our school day okay bye guys <laughs>
Okay. Hey, y'all, we are back, right? I told you we would be getting our school day started around 1.30. Um, so to give you some information, maybe some that you asked for, or maybe some that you did, but who cares, right? I told y'all I was going to have you um, going in a day of a life of us, how we get our day, right? Get our homeschool day started. Let's look a little ashy to me, child. So we are at home now. Uh, two of three kids have showered. I have showered and they are back in their pajamas. And now I am back in my pajamas um doing a little bit of detangling of this head of mine and then we're going to get our day started so it is a, officially it's fine come on I'm, I'm here it's in uh it's in the living room okay. and then go ahead and come in here thank you um so we have officially we're starting our day our school day baby please be careful because the screen is moving i don't want it to fall on you Sorry. um so we are starting our school day uh, for the day. So this is what it, it looks like for us. Um, someone asked in Messenger, what will we be doing today? Because I told you that uh, we would be having a um, like a like not a full schedule today um, that we try to ease into it. And the reason why we ease into it is because it just works better for our family. Like, honestly, it just works better for um, my kids, my kids behave better. They they like to ease into the work versus uh, jumping right into it. So that's why we do it that way. So today, what they'll be doing as we ease into it this week, um, in the next few weeks, what they'll be doing today is they will be, um, they will take their placement test for math to see what they remember for math and what we needed to um, to go back and redo um or review or something to that effect so they will do that and then we will um they have reading to do so we'll start doing that working on comprehension we'll start working on some of the uh the, the grammar stuff again uh you can see my daughter in the background how funny what? you can no they can't see you but they can see your shadow because of the light baby sorry i, mean, I need to plug up my it's fine. Can you plug it up as soon as I'm done though? Okay. Cause I don't want you to knock the thing over. Okay. Um, and so, um, so they will start that. Okay. So they will start, um, those things. So we have, they asked what we're doing. So we have ELA, we're going to do a word study, um, along with, for our character and along with the Bible. And so we will be, um, doing, um, we'll start doing a word study. So I'll pick a word and then we'll start work doing it. I think I'm going to pick perseverance today or this week. And so we'll go through perseverance and we'll find some scriptures to go along with it. We'll find some different pictures and stuff to go along with it. They can make a poster, they can make a video, they can make whatever they want uh, according to that word, right? Because of uh, perseverance pushing through, right? What it means to them, how they'll push through, what they can do to remind themselves to push through, uh, through that process. Um, so that's what we will do today. Hey, Adrian, um, good to see you. Um, so that's what we will do. Uh, Arlene says, any special traditions? We don't really have any special traditions. Hey, son. Um, I typically, um, I typically take like a picture at the beginning of the school year because I just want to kind of remember, you know, their body changes so much throughout the year. Um, my littlest one is 10, but that definitely will change, right? He's going through that uh, growth spurt well, it'll, where it will change. Um, so I will definitely take pictures of them at the beginning of the year. And it's just for me, but we don't really have any um, specific traditions. I guess if the kids wanted to do something specific, we could do that. Hey, babe, um, we could do that as far as that's concerned. You just done got too comfortable. Why? What are you talking about? Um, listen, they gone on now. Don't come on here judging. My folks don't judge me. They want to see a real life um uh what homeschool life looks like here and so i'm gonna show them and so don't come on here uh trying to be all mad and stuff don't do that don't do that child so um that's what we're doing okay so um i just got out the shower i my hair is kind of wet damp from working out and so i typically just kind of finger detangle my hair a little bit so that's what i'm doing right now so that's it we are officially starting our day for the day remember i have 10 year old a 14 year old and a 16 year old and so we should be done fairly soon. Um, so we're just going to get our day started. So I just wanted to tell you um, that's what's going on. OK, so no other quick questions. We do not have a, um, a what you call it, a like a like an actual ritual. We don't really have any rituals as far as that's concerned, to be honest with you. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get started. Someone else asked in my messenger as well, how many devices, how does it work with devices and how, what we have? Um, and then someone also asked about TV time, how that works. So really quick for us, um, the kids have a Chromebook that they use. And then if they need to get up here on the desktop, they can do that as well. Some of the stuff that they can do um, is done, you can do on a phone. And so they'll do that on the phone as well. Um, okay, so that's how that works in our um, house. Uh, as far as TV, they are able to watch a little bit of TV while, um, while they're at lunch. So while they're eating lunch, they're able to watch TV. They have a total of 45 minutes to fix lunch, eat lunch, do whatever they can watch TV then, but then the TV goes off. Um, you go and bathe and brush your teeth next, what? Babe, go on and get off my darn live. What are you talking about? Y'all, my husband clowning. Um, and so, um, <laughs> and so we'll, uh, they'll do that. As far as TV time, they do not, the TV doesn't come on until 3 p.m., period, point blank. If their work is not done, if their work is done, it doesn't matter. It doesn't come on until 3 p.m. every single day. They don't, they're not allowed to do that. So that's how we choose to do that, okay? So I am going to jump off of here. Hey, so we can, Go ahead and get our day started. I will come back with you and um, after we finish, so you know how long our school day starts, okay? So put, put us on a timer. It is 1.30, um, and I will be back to let you know when we are done with our school day, okay? All right, y'all, my husband fussing. Hey, Lavelle, uh, my husband fussing, y'all. I think he fussing because I'm in my pajamas, but I told y'all I was giving you a, a real look of what our homeschool looks like, like being completely transparent about what had happened and stuff. Hey, Maria. Um, so this is this is what we do. Um, so I'm not trying to be funny or fake and come on with my makeup and my hair done and all that stuff. That's not what we do, right? That's not what we do. Okay, so I'll see you later. Put us on a timer. 1.30, we are starting our school day. Two kids are out of the shower. I'm out of the shower. We've got one kid in the shower right now. Um, and so we're getting our day started and I will catch you guys later. So put us on a timer. 1.30, okay? We're starting. Give us Give us, give us a lot, 15 minute grace period, right? Just give us 15 minute grace period. But, uh, <laughs> but um, we'll get started, okay? Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye guys, bye Facebook, bye Instagram.
computer. Join, fam. Now you can hear me. Ain't that something? Okay, so Instagram, I'm going to let you go because you just heard my whole spiel and I'm going to redo the same spiel with um, Facebook. So I'll see you guys in, give me a couple hours and I bet you we will be completely done with our day. Okay, see y'all soon, Instagram. Hey, Facebook, I apologize. I did not know. See, I typically have my comments up and I didn't have my comments up today. So I did not know, or this time. So I did not know that you couldn't hear me. I apologize, okay? Um, so let's do this. Let me move my phone out of the way and let's go back to Facebook and give y'all the whole thing all over again, okay? So let me know if you can hear me. Thumbs up. If you can hear me, I apologize, guys. The sound was on. I don't know what happened, Kia. I do not know what's going on. But let me know if you can hear me. Um, I don't know. Sometimes Facebook is fun. Sometimes it, it causes problems, okay? So let me know. Thumbs up if you can hear me. Just let me know if you can hear me. I think you can hear me now. Okay, thumbs up. You can hear me. Okay, again, I apologize. I don't know what's going on, but sometimes Facebook is fun. Um, and so, yeah, okay. So what happens here? So I'm coming back to you. It is now four o'clock. We are done. The kids are taking a lunch break. Now we're done. So the kids are taking a late lunch break. Uh, like I said, we got up. They got up around 10, fixed a breakfast. We worked out. They had a snack. Um, and then we're eating lunch. Yes, we do eat late because of the fact that we, um, well, they wake up so late. So this is a lunch for us. And then we'll probably eat dinner. My husband's fixing dinner. So hopefully we'll eat dinner around seven or eight o'clock. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. Let's all pray because sometimes he cooks dinner late. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. But so what has happened since I talked to you last, I said at 1.30 to go ahead and set a timer so that we could see what we were doing. It's 1.30 and, and then I also posted my youngest son's schedule so you could see what he was gonna be doing today. So at 1.30, you set a timer for me. We just finished short of four o'clock. We're at a point where the kids wanted to take a lunch. So all three kids are now fixing lunch. And what they'll do is they have 30 to 45 minutes to do whatever they wanna do as far as lunch is concerned. They can fix it, eat it, and then they're able to watch TV during that time as well if they want. Um, Honestly, they're done, they wanna be done. So nine times out of 10, they're going to shorten their lunch break so that they can go ahead and finish. But as of right now at four o'clock, they only have two things left to do, the Black Business School and the rest of their ELA. They have done everything else on their list for the school day. So they've done their math, they've done their reading, they've done um, ASL, they've done part of their ELA. Um, what else did they do? I don't know, but they've done whatever it is that they were supposed to do. So as of right now at four o'clock, they only have two things, they're at lunch. Once they're done with lunch, we'll come back and finish and then I will give you an update and let you know uh, what they do. Now, even though they're finished and it's three o'clock, the kids still can't have free time technically. So even though we're done, they're not just gonna be able to go run around, do whatever they wanna do. Every single day they're assigned chores um, and they're, the chores usually take no more than 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and so every day they're responsible, they're responsible for making the lifestyle, our home enjoyable for everyone. So say for instance, my motto, if you've never heard is everyone contributes to the well-being of the family. So that means that mom is not the only one that's going to cook, clean, do the laundry, keep up the house. Like mom is not the only one who's going to do it. If the dog was here, if my mama's dog was here, he would have some type of responsibility to make sure the well-being of the family is great. <laughs> And so in this instance, what they do is I have a little, um, I have little things, you know what? I should have brought it, but I'm not gonna go get it. But I have these little pocket chart things and they each have note cards, laminated note cards in them and they're assigned to them every single day. We switch every Monday on the chores. And so um, we'll do that. We will um, do the chores. So after they do that, we'll be done for the day. They can go outside and play, they can go watch TV, they can do whatever it is. They're done at that point. So does anybody have any questions about that part of our day real quick? Hey, Jasmineke. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Hey, Esther. Sorry about that. Thank y'all for letting me know. I usually have the comments up and that time I didn't. Hey, Chantrice. Hey, Joy. Hey, Loretta. So that's how our day will work right now. So they're eating lunch. Um... I think I'm probably gonna work on some things. I'm gonna answer some emails and some messages and stuff while they're at lunch. 
because that's kind of my free time. I don't have to actually be present for them to eat lunch. They can eat their lunch and go ahead and go about their business. Um, so we'll be back um, in about, um, sorry, y'all, my back is like tightening up. I guess it's because I'm sitting all slumped over. Let me stand up, but um, or let me sit up. Um, but yeah, that's it. No, Cindy, we do not. So Cindy said, do you allow video games during the week? Um, no, we do not allow video games um, during the week. So they are not allowed to play video games unless it's an opportunity where, um, say for instance, if we had a tournament or something over the weekend and they didn't get an opportunity to play, they will get an opportunity Monday to make up that time. And also even on game time, we're supposed to be we're supposed to be watching it. They're only supposed to get an hour a day on the games, on the video games. But to be very honest with you, they're kind of they kind of get free reign on that. Uh, I was it was stricter in the very beginning, and now I'm just like I don't want to argue. Like I don't feel like it. So, um, so it was that everybody only got an hour a day. So Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays they got an hour to work on the games, and now it's more lenient as far as that's concerned. As long as their chores are done, their schoolwork is done, it's more lenient. Um, so no, they do not get game time. But what I will tell you is in this journey, you will get those, um, I was about to call a name. I know you heard about it, but I'm not going to say it. You'll get those super moms who think they've got it all figured out. Oh, I don't never let my wife, my kids watch TV. My kids don't play video games. My kids don't do that. Pat them on the back and say, good for you. If watching TV is something that you want them to do or you think is okay, if playing video games is something that you want them to do or you think is okay, then go for it. Don't worry about what they think um, about what you're doing. So um, I tell the story all the time that I thought there was a family that lived a couple houses down from us. And I thought that they were amazing. I thought that the mom was amazing as far as homeschooling. And it was me from the outside looking in. I didn't know the full story. Um, however, um, them kids got removed from our house because of some stuff. Okay. <laughs> so um, I thought from the outside looking in that it was perfect, it was great, but it really wasn't. And so what works for you may work for you, but it may not work for me, okay? Video games, I've been, that's been a rule from the beginning, even when they were in traditional school system. They weren't allowed to have video games during the regular season. What do you even, uh, go ahead. Even during the, um, the regular school year, so regular public school, they weren't able to have video games and all that stuff. And even still, they weren't able to finish their schoolwork. You know, I mean, they weren't able to have it until they finished their schoolwork. So they weren't able to watch TV. So what I say is develop your own plan, right? What works for you? What is going to be um, great for you and your family, right? What, what is giving you peace in your household? There are days, some days that I do allow them to play video games because I need peace. Like I just need a moment of peace. Um, or I need to work on something or whatever the case may be, or they might be done with their schoolwork and they've earned it, but that's my decision. So you choose what works best for your child, okay? So they're at lunch right now. I'm going to answer emails and messages for my uh, second business, which is this, the Sean, the homeschool guru. So I'm gonna answer those and then they'll be back. And when I come back next time, I will come back and tell you we are done with our school day, y'all. So we are completely done. So that's everyone, even my high schooler, who does uh, 45 minutes of uh, work will be done with her schoolwork. And again, we're easing into the full school year. We are only doing part of our lessons for the day, but still with us only doing part of our lessons, they are still doing two and a half to three, possibly with her, you know, three and a half hours of work, that's it. Um, and as long as they're consistent, they're focused, they can get their schoolwork done with no issues, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to jump off of here and answer some messages, answer some emails. I will be back again. Um, I don't know. I'll be back again when we're done for the day. So you know how it goes and how it rolls. Okay, so I'll see y'all soon. I'm going to jump off of here. Thank y'all so much again for joining me. I know I'm on your timeline a crazy amount of times today, but this is what you asked for, right? You wanted to know how a typical homeschool day works. This is how my typical homeschool day works, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's how yours. You could take some things out. Maybe you don't want to work out. Maybe you want to get out, get up earlier. Maybe y'all want to do homeschool in the evenings versus doing it in the afternoons. Like what, I mean, you know what I mean? It's not your journey, but I'm just giving you what we have and what we're going through, okay? So I'll see y'all soon. I'm going to jump off of here. Uh, see y'all in a couple hours, probably about an hour, hour and a half, all right? No, well, they ain't doing lunch, so two hours. See y'all later. <laughs> Bye. 
hey y'all real quick so i am just coming to check in with you guys it is 5 49 we have been done for maybe about 10 minutes or so uh five or ten minutes the kids are behind me um straightening up they're getting their stuff organized and straightening up the room remember i told you the room is a mess so they're behind me doing that right now but if you've been following me for today then we have started school at 1 30 so 1 30 2 30 3 30 almost four o'clock we ate lunch at four o'clock we came back and finished and now we're done for the day okay so uh we came back at 4 45 um so 40 45 to 5 45 so one hour hey leandra so technically guys we only did school work today for four hours 1 30 2 30 3 30 so three and a half hours and then we came back for an hour so four and a half hours was our school day today okay so we're done the kids are back there cleaning up, straightening up because we've been using this room as a catch all. Um, so they're back there getting that situated, um, decorating their notebooks, whatever they want to do as far as that's concerned. Um, I'm going to keep working on some things, but we are done with homeschool for the day. That's it. We're done. Um, so uh, that's how it goes, guys. So that's a, that's a day in the life of us of how our school day goes. Um, I don't think I have anything else for y'all. I think I've done everything and told y'all everything that I need to. Guys, please be mindful of what you're throwing away, please. Let me see it first. Y'all, because they'll just start chunking stuff and I'll be looking for it. Um, so just be um, be mindful, again, that this is only our journey. This is what we do, but your journey may be different. It may fit. It may not fit. Some things you may do, you may not do. You may take pieces of it, like whatever it is, okay? So just know that this is your journey, your freedom. Well, it's their journey. We're walking alongside, but we have freedom to choose how that's going to work for us. Um, and so I won't probably be back with you guys tomorrow like I did today, because that was a lot, to be very honest with you, remembering, oh shoot, I gotta go live. Um, but it's your journey. You can pick, choose whatever you wanna do. Again, I have a 10, a 13, no, a 10, a 14, and a 16 year old. Um, so that's why our day is longer. It's uh, So it was a total of four and a half hours for today. Um, and then we're done. So we're done for the day. Uh, hubby's got dinner going and they're after they finish straightening up and doing their chores for the day um, they're free to do whatever it is they want to do so bye guys i'll see y'all later if you're in my masterminds tonight i will see you tonight at 8 p.m central standard time bye guys thanks for joining me today